Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube? It is your boy, Make America Lit, back with another NBA 2K23 video. And in today's video, I have another episode of NBA Player Builds for you guys. And to you see on your screen, today's episode, we're going to be recreating Knicks legend Bernard King. So let's just jump straight into the build. Bernard King is 6'7, 205 pounds, played the small forward position for the New York Knicks, wore the jersey number 30, and had a 7 foot wingspan. His attributes are as follows. He had a 98 layup, 55 standing dunk with a 90 driving dunk, 95 close shot, 90 mid-range, 68 three ball, 82 free throw, 88 post fade, 74 post control, 75 pass accuracy, 85 ball handle, 84 speed with ball, 72 interior uh, defense, 76 perimeter defense, 70 steal, 35 block, 60 offensive rebound, 55 defensive rebound, a 90 speed with an 88 acceleration, a 61 strength, a 94 vert, and a 98 stamina. His badge count is as follows. He has a gold acrobat, drop stepper, fearless finisher, and pro touch with silver fast twitch. He has gold midi magician. He has silver vice grips with bronze hyper drop. And then finally, he has silver workhorse. Now, um, we were able to get most of his stats. Um, some of the stats we weren't able to reach and then um if you want what you can do is you can tweak the build a little bit um if because there's really no point in having a 90 mid-range even though that was his bread and butter knocking down shots he was like a shot creating slasher kind of uh if you will uh if you you know watch his highlights and stuff like that and see like footage of him playing and stuff like that um there really is no real benefit to having a 90 mid-range so if you want you can always bring this 90 mid-range down to like an 80 85 or even an 81 really and throw that into like your three-point rating or something else like that you can also bring his free throw down as well too um he does have an 82 free throw you can bring his free throw down if you don't play rec i mostly play rec so i like to keep the free throws uh whatever it is but if you don't play rec at all then you could bring his free throw down as well too but Again, if you want to stay true to his build, you leave him with a 90 and stuff like that and just keep, you know, the added uh, bonus shooting badges and stuff like that. But if you don't really care to do that, you could really drop this down to like an 85 or an 81 and then put those points um, elsewhere and stuff like that. Um, pretty decent build, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, can finish, can shoot somewhat, even though you can't really shoot the three as much. You could still, you know, you still have a high uh, mid range, so you can still space the floor, knock down shots. Uh, you know, decent playmaking and some defense or whatever like that. Final badge count is 19 finishing, 19 shooting, 14 playmaking, and 8 defensive. As for the takeover, we have our choice between slash and shot created and lock take. Now, of course, if you want to be a team player, you know, you will put on, you know, that lock take and stuff like that. But, you know, uh, for the sake of the video, I went with shot creating and slashing because I feel like that's more true to his build. But you can't throw on that lock take to be a team player. And then, of course, when we create our build, you'll see that we have built an inside the arc scorer with shades of none other than, of course, Bernard King. So there you have it. That is my Bernard King build for NBA 2K23. It's been your boy, Make America Lit. Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K23 content. I'm out, guys. Peace.